In Eugene Peterson's paraphrase of the Bible called The Message, Jesus speaks these words in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 16. From the mouths of children and babies, I'll furnish a place of praise. We never grow weary from hearing the giggles and laughter of children or seeing their shining smiles. We adore them. And the favorite part of our day is time playing with them, here and in the U.S. When we danced with them recently, they all started yelling, Yay, Sue! Yay, Sue! with fingers pointing to heaven. Wow, they teach us so much. But what sometimes has troubled us is the perceived cultural deference to children, especially in the remote areas. Why don't the parents run and play games and giggle with their children? Initially, we will confess that we were quick to judge those persons. But being full-time missionaries has given us time to learn about the culture, to see and experience things from their perspective so sometimes walk in their shoes to learn. And so we've begun to ask questions like, how would we as a parent have time and energy to spend hours with a soccer ball or drawing in the sand with our children when we have to walk many kilometers to the river to wash their clothes? Or spend hours in the field planting, weeding, and harvesting all the food that our children will eat? Not simply opening a box of rice and throwing it into a pot of water to cook, but growing the food, cutting it down in the field, drying it, separating the edible portion from the pot, going to the river to obtain the water, hauling it back to our home and then begin the cooking process, which requires the gathering of wood for us to even cook the food. Wow, we are absolutely blown away by the hard trekking and labor endured by so many. By the time this is completed, the sky grows dark, and with no electricity, little or no time is left before preparing the children for bed. Are you getting the picture? One day, I was playing in the middle of the dirt road with some children who had come by the mission house to bring greetings. They were all laughing and giggling and having fun as they learned a little game. A Congolese woman walked by, slowed down to watch, and then said, Mama Donna, we need to learn from you. You love playing with the children. I wanted to say, but I have time. Even though we're very busy with the documentation and oversight of projects, etc., we have much more flexibility as we don't have to grow our own food, trek to the river, or wash our own clothes when in the villages. We've become so humbled by this experience. It has all made us think and pray much about honoring others. We probably enjoy when people honor us, right? As we think back on our lives, how many times have we in the scurry of activities failed to honor someone, failed to thank a colleague for doing something for us, failed to praise our children for putting their heap of toys back in the container, failed to give our spouse a peck on the cheek for cooking a lovely meal? Our list would probably be quite long. In the seventh chapter of Luke, verse 24, it says, Stop judging by mere appearances, but instead judge correctly. Just because we see parents leaving their tiny tots in the care of the older children or not taking time to play with the children as they scamper in the yard does not mean that they do not love their children, cherish their offspring, and want to have hours and hours to be silly and giggle with them. What it means is that the parents must prioritize their time. Is playtime more important than having food for their children to eat? Mm, no. People in the Congo continue to praise the Lord despite their life's condition. The children still find joy in their little buddies and the toys that they contrive from the pods of fruit or sticks and discarded bicycle wheels. They're blessed when mom or big sister takes time to fix their hair or the family gathers around the fire at the end of the day taking time to hear what has happened in each person's life before they go to bed. These are all precious times with all, all the stuff the world wants to tell us is necessary to have joy. Our Congolese children teach us every day that joy comes in relationships with Jesus, with one another, with the beauty of God's world. I read this statement on a website, www.ourafrica.org. Youngsters can be happy without being wealthy. Children who have a number of household chores, such as fetching water, looking after siblings, 
Taking animals to graze, gathering firewood, or helping to raise crops in the family's fields may enjoy a happy childhood. A key factor in determining whether children have a good quality of life is their survival of their family unit. Therefore, it's very, very smart for parents in remote areas of Africa to concentrate on the survival of their family unit. So many of our projects in the partnership seek to help parents find a better quality of life for themselves and for their families. Things like helping provide freshwater wells so that people don't have to take three or four hours a day walking to the river and can provide their families then with disease-free water. Or a farm where a new model for growing nutritional foods can help everyone learn how to do this for their families. Or by providing sewing programs or other trade school programs where people learn a vocation and can learn to make money to help assist their families. But there is so much work to be done and many have yet to benefit from these and other projects. So we are committed to keep on trying to help make these changes. And in the meantime, we will continue to find such delight in the children. Enjoy their giggles. Give them a highlight of the day that is different for them and strengthens our relationships with the children and their families. For that, that is, is the, the true meaning, meaning of, of mission, mission work. work.